super simple guys I show you a way to do it but I'm gonna show you I show you a way to do it routes this way um, is very similar all right so let's actually create what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a couple things we first we're gonna create a custom method all right and then we're gonna create a view as well so let's actually also create a custom route so a lot of customization here right so let's say for example I'm gonna comment this out real quick we want our users to go to post and we're gonna say ID here comma and then it's gonna be in the post controller post controller controller and then we're gonna create a custom method called show post all right even though we already have one in the resource a show method we're gonna create a custom one called show post so now that we have our routes in place right let's go and go to a post controller here and create that method so public function show post right and we're gonna return what what do you think we're gonna return we're gonna return a view that we haven't created yet but we're gonna call it post so this function automatically will search for any files uh, with this name inside the views folder just the views folder not the sub folder so you're gonna have to put the sub folder if you already have one there so I'm gonna create this file I'm gonna call it post dot blade dot php now you might be thinking what in the world did he just do well we created this dot blade file very similar to the contact page everything has to be dot blade but I'm gonna show you in a minute how we can use this real quick so let's do a post here all right so now I talked a little bit about the Blade engine, right? Uh, did I say anything about the Blade engine? I said that um, the Blade engine is a templating engine. Well, the Blade function is a templating uh, engine that Laravel uses to show PHP, to execute PHP in a very, very simple way. Instead of actually uh, writing out the PHP tags, we can just put curly brackets around it. And there are other methods that we can use. But let's actually do this right here. So if I wanted to echo something out here, I would just do curly brackets and the name of that variable. All right. But let's go back to our post controller here. Make sure that we are passing some data, right? So we're going to take in a ID here and this ID is going to come from routes from right here. All right. And now we're going to pass it into the view. So there are a couple ways of doing it. There is a function that we can chain. This is called chaining right here. We can change this function or method with this one here. So we're going to say with, it's going to take two parameters. The name of the variable and the variable itself. All right. So now this ID variable that's going to come from the URL because this is a get request in the URL is going to be available in this post view. Why? Because our post controller right here is opening that file and is passing in that data. That's what this view functionality is doing. All right. So now we got a display here because we don't have it here yet. So we're going to use the shift key in PHP store and we're going to type in twice the left bracket curly bracket and that's going to create the second curly brackets right curly brackets and we're going to type in the name of that variable which is ID all right that's it so now if we want to see this in action all we got to do is come back here and say oops enter there we go post one as you can see we're passing data beautiful enter oh that is beautiful isn't it guys 
we're gonna have a lot of fun with this anyway so now there is a better way of actually doing this that I use myself when you want to pass multiple parameters all right this gets very ugly when you want to pass multiple parameters so instead of doing this and let me just comment this out real quick copy it and then comment it out so I can use a new one and I'm gonna take all this out there is a, a native function called compact all right that grabs the a, a couple of parameters you can pass as many parameters as you want but if I pass a parameter that has the same name as the variable that I have up here it will convert this into a variable it will convert it into this variable right here and then we can pass it into the view this way all right so now if I go back you see it does the same thing again even though I changed it all right why use that why use this function over the with function because with it with this compact function I can do this name and um, password or something like that of course you're not gonna pass the password through the URL but you can <laughs> let's go to routes and here we can say forward slash this is the name and the password you never want to do that right guys never do that and password all right and now we go to our view and we can say name and then password all right password all right that should be good let's go to our application let's just write whatever here let's just write whatever undefined constant oh, okay we have a problem in our post controller that's because we forgot oh we didn't we didn't pass it in here we forgot this little detail name and password all right now if we go back and we refresh view applicate post that blade it has a problem in post that blade let's let's try this out hmm so ID name and password this looks about right maybe I misspelled it or something I think I probably did misspelled it let's go to post that blade and oh we forgot the little dollar sign symbols there we, we can't forget about that there we go see that our th three parameters so Edwin password one two and three all right beautiful so that's how you pass data to views using Laravel which is pretty cool guys right and we are also using the blade templating engine that Laravel uses called blade right Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lectures. Keep having fun. Keep playing around. Practice, practice, practice makes perfection. The more you write this stuff, the more is engraved in your head. All right? Take care. Bye.